My teacher always said not to worry about spelling because we have autocorrect. And for that, I am infernally grapefruit. Like with Iceberg Gaming here with today's World of Warcraft Gold Farming Guide video. I guess this is not a farming video. Uh, we're kind of getting away from the farming right now for a while with the 9.2.7 auction house region-wide merger. All the farms are pretty much bad. Most of them anyway. There are a few that are still good. But for the most part, farming is bad. So we're looking at uh, uh, a crafting uh, crafting thing here. I don't know if you want to call it a flip or what you want to call it. But uh, this, as you can see, I am on letter C here, which is my enchanter. And today's method was actually mentioned by one of my subscribers in a recent live stream. And I figured I would check it out. This is not something that I have done before, but after investigating, it looks pretty darn good. Yes, today we are looking at Tomes of Illusion. There are one of one of these for pretty much all of the expansions, and uh, especially right now with materials in the gutter, these are looking especially good. Now, TSM is not really trustworthy right now, but uh, at first glance, it looks like these are a huge profit with a decent sell rate. Now, like I said, I wouldn't really trust TSM right now without verifying, but uh, according to TSM, we're making around like 2,000 to 6,000 per craft on these. So let's take a look. I'm going to verify this on the auction house, and then we'll take a, uh, a quick look. And as you can see up here on the auction house, these are in fact selling for the price listed in our TSM. So that is good news. TSM might be finally working again. And just spot checking some of these materials... It looks like um, TSM is still is actually fairly close, uh, not quite 100% on on some of these mats, but it looks like for the most part it is pretty close. So finally, maybe TSM is catching up with all the extra data from the region-wide merger. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and craft a few of these up and uh, and sell them on the auction house. So if you do this method, I do recommend that you only craft like one at a time. Do not flood the market with these. That will drive the price down. Uh, and that is not what we want. We want the price to stay high so that we are making a good profit. So don't don't flood the market with these if you're going to do this method. just uh, I'm What I'm going to do is I'm just going to craft one at a time of each and then relist them once they sell. And that is what I recommend you do as well. And yes, I know I can be more efficient if I use ESM groups and such. Now, most of these tomes are learned from the standard trainers, but we have a couple that are not. We have the uh, tomes. The Pandaria one is from Shadowpan Revered. The Elemental Lords is from the quest controlling the elements in Deep Palm. And the... Oh, that one is standard trainer. Also, I just don't have the skill for it. But those are the... Those are the two that are not from standard trainers. The Draenor one is uh, bought with the secrets of enchanting that you that you craft daily. It is secrets of Draenor enchanting. You need five of them to buy it. But that's going to wrap up the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Special thank you to my YouTube members, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you for making this channel possible.